Training camp's been full of energy. Um, Cause to be fair, she asked me how I make one 154. I tell you, it, it's quite comfortable, but it's not easy. You know, you're still you're still draining, you know, to a certain extent. But what we do now is is 160s. It's full of food and it's full of energy, and you know, I'm enjoying it. Like I said, I'm tired today, but I'm not I'm not draining tired. I'm physically tired because I've been working hard, and normally I've got that mixed with you know you know little meals. It's not a good thing, so so yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's nice to have people in the gym under the same circumstances. Do you know what I mean? So so when you're making weight, it's not it's not so hard when you see someone else, you know, doing the same thing. Um, and tough, grueling sessions that you know you don't really want to put yourself through, but someone else is doing it, so. You know, you either get left behind or you, or you carry on with them. Um, so yeah, it, it's definitely, it, it helps, it makes it easier. It makes it enjoyable more than anything. We all got the same check weigh -ins, we all got the same weigh -ins, we all got, you know, we're all pushing towards the same, same goal. Um, and when you've got a group collectively doing the same thing, you know, it makes it enjoyable to a point. <laughs> Honestly pal, I'm like a child. Um, I love them man, I love the bouts. Um, I mean, granted, once I've won it, it goes in a, a cupboard at home, in a nice cupboard, but it don't get touched again. But I'd just like to know it's there. Um, yeah, I love the bouts. You know, I love what comes with them, you know, the big fights and the big money, but yeah, the bouts and like a child. You ask John, I keep saying to him, we ain't got one of these, we ain't got one of these. See if you can make this fight for this or this fight for this, you know, I want to collect them all. I know a lot of people say it, but I'm starting to enjoy it. You know, a lot of the time it was just, it was just a job. Get fit, make sure we can go 12 rounds for, for hammer. And if it ends beforehand, it ends beforehand. If not, you know, we've got 12 rounds in the bank. Um, for the last, you know, two years, I've actually enjoyed the process. Um, and maybe that is going up a weight, you know, to 154, making it easier to, to be able to learn. You know, at 147, I was probably just, I was probably just like, let's get this done and let's get home. Um, so I'm starting to learn a bit more and I just, I'm enjoying it. I don't know, I'm enjoying it. Um, whether I box or whether I go and have a tear up, I never get no favours with the judges, so I might just I might as well just do what, what I enjoy in it at the time. It's just knowing that someone's ringing you for your benefit, you know. Um, for for a few years, I was just sitting there, no, not knowing when if there was going to be a fight, and then all of a sudden, the phone would ring and it'd be a fight that I couldn't say no to because I ain't fought for the last six months or something crazy. Or I have fought for the last six months, but between me and John, we've paid for it together. Or, do you know what I mean? So I ain't been paid for it. I've just small four, four rounds, six rounds here and there. And I've just been waiting for a phone call. And sometimes it would come, sometimes it wouldn't. So to have, you know, um, at this stage of my career, it's someone to say, look, we're gonna get behind you. You're gonna be main event, you know, home corner. You know, it's great, it um, really does help. I got into it so young, you know, the professional thing that I just took it for granted. Um, it was just my job, you know, it wouldn't change, nothing would change. It is what it is, a box. Um, and I just took it for granted. I, I wish, you know, I was just, I, I'd, I'd turn up at the gym, I'd do my work. And I'd go home, you know, you ask John, after every fight, after parties, all that nonsense, I had none of it. I was in the car, you know, I'd box in London, I'd box in Manchester, I'd box, you know, anywhere I'd box, I'd be in the car 15 minutes after the fight, driving home. I just wish I'd, I took a lot more of it in um, and enjoyed it a bit more. I started treating it like a nine to five, like everyone else's job, you know, people come home from work and be like, oh, fuck me, I've got to work tomorrow. And that was me, um, and I wish, 
I just thought about it a bit more and just understood that this this job not everyone can do. Um, you need to sit back and enjoy it while you can. And, you know, I missed I missed a bit of that, but it is what it is. It's either when you or not. You, you know, you you have people at press conferences and 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 so on, and they they, I think it's so you know, transparent, you know, if people try so hard to be angry and, you know, I want to do this, I want to do that. I, I believe it's transparent. Sometimes I watch press conferences and think, that's not true. That's just you playing for the cameras or us. And I ain't got that. I, like, you've never seen me on Twitter, social media, interviews, um, in anyone's face or anything like that because it doesn't matter. It, you know, it means nothing, you know, um, come fighting on it. It all changes, and I think I think that's where my personality is better than a lot of others because you know people can act on the way up to the fight, but then they can't switch it on the fight. Whereas I, I don't act on the way up. It is what it is. You know, we're having a fight. Whether we have an argument now or not, we're gonna have a fight. Um, but on the night, I can switch it, and you know, it's not something I know how to. It's just, it's just there. It, and it, it's nice to know that it's the only accolade I've got to pick up, but also it's an absolute nose to know that you know it's the only accolade I've got to pick up. You know, it's it's like a it's like a thing in the back of your head. And I, I need to pick one up, and I'm, I'm and I'll do anything to do it. I am determined. One, two, three. Just you know, a relentless night's work. You know, like I say, I'm determined to to win a world title and to do that I've got to get through this um, there's no ifs or buts about it um, I've got to get through this you know and I don't care you know it, it can look pretty um, you know it can be a big right hand and it can look sharp for the camera and it can look lovely or it can just be a dragged out war I'm not bothered <laughs> you know I'm gonna win <laughs> without a doubt um, and that's the mentality I've got going into this whether it's clean or dirty or, or, or what as long as the W's at the end, you know, I'm not bothered.